All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're gonna to be going over actually a really awesome new feature in Synology DSM 7, and that's the ability to have your find your search window actually search through a volume on your Synology NAS, and that is huge for businesses who need to find files and things like that using search, which previously was disabled on a network share. The thing about searching on a network share is, files are constantly changing, and the actual client never hears when a file changes. And so because of that, there's no way that your Mac could go through and set up its own cache database saying, okay, these are the files and different file types that are through there because it doesn't know when things are gonna be changing. But now Samba has an ability to have Mac OS ask the Synology, hey, I need this folder. Do you know where it is? And actually have the Synology respond with it. And that is so much more efficient. That way, every single one of your Macs can go through and search the exact same folder, and your Synology is in charge of keeping that database up to date. And it is really efficient and really effective. And so this is gonna use the universal search package. Now this feature, at least according to the release notes, is also now available on Windows. However, I've not had time to test it yet since the update came out that allowed this. The documentation just changed. And so setting this up is honestly really easy. First, we're gonna go ahead and see what happens right now with a shared folder. So I've got this temp file here, and we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. And we can see I've got this test.txt document. And so it's got some stuff in here. I just threw some stuff in there. This is a cat doc will. So it's just got words in there. So now let's play easy mode and just say, let's search test. Right now, nothing's coming back, even though that test file is on the root of the shared folder. Even if we do test.txt, it's right there, but Finder can't search it because it has no idea. It's not even going to attempt it. At least Windows will attempt it and it may take hours and hours and hours because shared folders can be massive, but it will not even attempt it. And so right now there's no way to search through this, which is a really important thing for businesses. But now let's go through and we're going to set this up and we're gonna use an application called Universal Search. All right, and so now let's go through and we're going to use Universal Search. So it should be pre-installed on all the Synologies and just hit Universal Search. And so this is one of the coolest applications on Synology and one of the most useful applications on a Synology NAS that nobody ever uses, but if you've got a use case for it, it can save you so much stuff. It is one of the most advanced searches I've really seen on anything, and it's incredibly fast. Synology's done an awesome job with this, but nobody ever uses it because nobody wants to step out of Finder and actually go ahead and log into DSM to find things. And so it really gets underutilized. But now we're just gonna go ahead and set it up. So we go into preferences right here, and we're going to click on indexed folder list. And so now we are in that temp folder, so we wanna add that to search. We're just gonna hit add, and we're gonna say that we can do anything. We want photos, everything. Now, everything you select in here, the metadata will be searched through and basically stored in a cache, ready to go. And so now, it's going through and indexing the entire thing. And first time, this can take quite a long time. If you need to skip it or pause it, you can do so up there. It was so fast, because it's a pretty small shared folder that went away immediately, but it would be right there, and you could see pause till later. And so now it's gone through and indexed. And so we can go ahead and hit save. There's a couple other configs I wanted to show. You can have a search history here, which can be really nice. And another thing is this right here is default checked on, but if you use numeric characters a lot in your file name to find things, you definitely want to tick that because you need to have those in there. I think it really speeds things up, but if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. Then if you're searching a lot and you've got extra RAM, you can tick this, utilize unused memory for the cache, and sell it, just make it go a lot faster. But if you don't have a ton of RAM and you're not searching that often, it's probably not worth it for you. And then also you can go ahead and preload the index data. So that way when you reboot, it's not taking a long time and having to redo all these queries the first time somebody does it. All right, and so now let's go ahead and just through here, you know how I said cat in that thing. So we'll just type in cat here. Boom, so fast it found it and says, oh, right here. And that is really the power of this. It is incredibly fast, and it's got some of the most advanced searches you can do here. You can have create date, last access, everything. There's so much stuff in here that all gets searched. You can search by ISO. Say, well, any ISO that's ISO 100. 
boom. These are all the images that it indexed that are at ISO 100. It is insanely powerful and yet so underutilized. You can say so many different things. It is remarkable how much stuff they've put in here and it can be incredibly useful if you need to do it. But now with DSM-7, there is an awesome update allowing you to do much of this stuff using Finder. So now let's go through and now let's do the exact same query. So remember how earlier I couldn't query this file even though it was right there? Well now let's go ahead and eject it and remount it because you need to go through and unmount it for this to work. So it's just mounted again. And now let's play using mode again. We'll just say test. Oh, it found it this time. And now we can even search for stuff within documents. So cat. And boom, it's there. But if we say dog, it's not there. And so this is some of the power. You're actually able to start sending queries in here and you can see everything. This is gonna help businesses so much and it's remarkably fast. The beauty of it is instead of every single computer trying to figure out its own queries, the Synology just manages all of that for you, which is so much more efficient because it knows when files are changed. It can build up a really great database because it only has to do it once when the file's added or changed instead of every single time a search occurs. And so this is such a great feature for people who need it. I would really recommend looking into it and seeing if you're able to actually put this into a workflow for yourself. All right, well, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Go and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below. And if you want to hire me, there's a link for that in the description. All right, have a good one. Bye.